Hello and welcome to my video lecture on the use of the output element on a form control in an HTML file. So here we are, uh, we're in an HTML file. Uh, we have our body and our form. So here's our form. Currently our form has first name, last name, uh, email, uh, a zip code, a phone uh, data element. Uh, we're using some patterns and we're using some required uh, attributes. And when we look at it on uh, in a browser, this is what it currently looks like. So what we want to do is we want to add um, an output element to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here uh, to an output HTML file that I have saved. And I'm going to copy the code out and I'm going to put it into my index.html file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tab these over so they look a little better. Uh, normally I would make this a label, but for our purposes here, that this will be fine. Uh, I am going to add in a couple of breaks at the end here, uh, just to separate this from my uh, submit uh, buttons and my reset button. So here I've got some inputs. Um, the types are numbers, so they're only going to take numbers. Uh, the minimum is 100 uh, in both of them, they step by 5. Uh, and right now the value is 100. So there is no max, although we could set a max uh, attribute. In other words, we can go in here and we could set a max attribute equal to, say, 200. That would uh, prevent the user from um, using this box to uh, get to a number above 200. Uh, we'll leave that uh, as it may. I, th I think you get the idea. They start out the the two uh, number um, inputs uh, start at 100 and then we've got another input button and in this case this is going to do a, uh, a calculate so we're going to call it uh, we're going to say the value is calculate uh, the type is a button and then on click uh, we're going to set the result value equal to and here we're using um, some code just to, to parse and make sure that uh, the x value from this input is actually parsed into an integer and then we're going to parse whatever gets put into the y. Um, I'm going to take those two and we're going to add them together. That's the, uh, the plus operator there. That's going to get put into uh, the result value and the result value is created by this output. So now we have an output element. Uh, its name is result and its value is going to get calculated uh, here uh, by this button. So the result, um, its name is result and here we're going to say that it's for uh, x and y which is going to associate uh, this, um, this output element with these two input elements uh, name, uh, named x and y. And again I'm throwing in a couple of breaks just to uh, separate that out. So if I save that and then I go to my web browser and I refresh it, uh, you can see now we have two number controls. Uh, there is uh, a limit to this one. This one will only go up to 200 and we'll stop. And then this one we can go up infinitely since there is no max set on this one. And then we can calculate. So we see 200 and 230. When we calculate we expect to see 430 and there it is. And of course you know you can reset this and then uh, do other calculations, um, but for our purposes and for purposes of, of learning how to use uh, inputs uh, to get valid data from your users and control the data entry of, of data from your users, that was a perfectly fine example. And uh, you can also use your cascading style sheets to um, uh, give a little bit more uh, style uh, to these controls. And now that you know how to use them, I look forward to seeing you use them on your forms.